the cow tripped over the moon. That beautiful writing again. The cow tripped over the moon. Here we go. Hey diddle diddle, you all know the riddle. A cow jumps over the moon. It happened all right on a crisp cloudless night on the second last Friday in June. But what they don't say in the songs from that day is the cow didn't jump at first time. It seems a moon clearance takes great perseverance. So back to the scene of the rhyme. So you've got to do Got to do your exercises, some sit-ups, some push-ups, lift a few weights, run on a treadmill, eat a donut once you're finished. <laughs> Moon attempt number one at 9.17 p.m. This is when all the kids are in bed. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow fell flat on her face. <gasps> in fact, she tripped over the little dog Rover. So never did make it to space. Whoops. Moon attempt number two at 9.28 p.m. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow took off for the moon. The moon it was nearing, the dog started cheering. Uh-oh, but the cow hit a hot air balloon. Oh no, poor cow. Moon attempt number three at 10, 12 p.m. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped under the moon. Uh oh. Her run up was slow. She was never a show. And the fiddle was quite out of tune. That was a bit of a disaster. So they had to try again. Moon attempt number four at 10.56 p.m. Hey diddle diddle, the dish and the fiddle, the cat mucked around with the spoon. The cow felt quite lazy. Oh, the details are hazy. And nobody went near the moon. They're all a bit bored and tired, I think. Moon attempt number five at 1.15 a.m. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow oh, tripped over the moon. The little dog laughed, he laughed till he barfed. When the cow landed in a sand dune, <laughs> that little puppy dog laughing. So they had to try again. Moon attempt number six at 2.25 a.m. You're sound asleep at this point in time. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow got this takeoff right. She flew up so high, uh-oh, that the moon sailed straight by and the cow rode a meteorite. She went too far this time. So try again, moon attempt number seven at 4.47 a.m. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the sun. She took a wrong turn, felt the fire and the burn. Ah, oh, you're burning me. And didn't have very much fun. Oh, that would be so hot. So they were very sad. They didn't know what to do. So that all the animals in the dish and the spoon are looking after the cow. A new day was dawning. The grass smelt like morning and the cow stared into the sky. The night's almost over, said little dog Rover, a tear welling up in her eye. The dish fed her water and tried to support her. You've got to get over this hump. The spoon hummed a tune he called Cow Can Jump Moon and prepared her for one last moon jump. 
Mother got a, a nice warm rug over her, polishing her hooves, giving her water. She's got her superhero's cape on. The whole group together said, cow, now or never. We know that you'll make it this time. And as of this night, we'll remember your flight with a hey diddle diddly rhyme. That sure is true. Oops, my fingers are in the way. Moon attempt number eight at 5.43 a.m. This is when you wake up in the morning. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. That's the right story. And here they are doing a happy dance, a little jig in the farmyard. And that's the end. So I did say I was going to read another book. This is a very a quick one. It's called One Ballerina Two. And it's about a big sister and her little sister, and they both do ballet. You might have a big brother or sister or a little brother or sister that you dance with. And this book is written by Vivian French and all the pictures are done by a lady called Jan Ormerod. Ormerod, Ormerod. I'll read this one twice as well. Very quick book. One Ballerina Two. Ballerinas. Us two. Can you see the big sister is helping the little sister with her ballet shoes? And the big sister does 10 plies. Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She does a nice deep plie. It's called a grand plie. But what can the little sister do? She can do nine little knee bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what we do in ballet. Demi plies or nine knee bends. Now the big sister, here she is, she can do eight changements. They're big jumps in the air. See how high she's jumping? And every time she lands, her feet are changing position. And the little sister can't quite do changements, but she can do seven little jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she's landed in a big demi plie. Now the big sister can do six pirouettes. And a pirouette is a spin on one leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do those at ballet. The little sister can do five gallops. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Oops! She fell over. And the big sister can do four pas de char. This is a very fancy leap where we pick both our legs up. One, two, three, four. Um, but the little sister can only do three pony trots. They do two final curtsies. You see that? And I love this page and one happy hug. Wow, that's a beautiful big sister. And that's the end. I think I'll read that one again. <laughs>